Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you one of my silver bullets or what I would call them because this would catch anything and this is what I use to actually cast first if uh, I'm going to catch something. It, take for example, I, I go to a spot. I don't know what's there. I have to catch something just to know what fish are there and then I could adjust my techniques after that. But this is this is one of those things, okay? So it gives me really good distance for uh, my light shirt jigging outfit and it's a combination of two proven things that really catches fish so that would be for me it would be a 20 gram koika it could be a 10 gram um, major craft jig para and this is the whole reason why there's a snap here the end of the rig terminates into a snap i don't really like using snaps but this is one of those instances where I actually like to use a snap so that I can change lures. So right now it could be a 20 gram jig para, it could be a uh, 40 gram slow rocker, uh, 10 gram jig para, could be anything, okay? And mind you, I could even put a plug on this one, okay? So it's something that I could use to cover the top, the middle, the bottom, I could use a a uh, crankbait for this okay so it's a it's a very good exploring tool and that's the whole point of this you could actually even use soft plastic jigs for this soft plastic such as this okay any type of lure any type of lure you could put on this leader and there's several iterations of this leader that you could use it just works all right so it's time for me to share this with everyone uh, again I have to say this is nothing new actually it's a very good rig if you just want to catch anything now the first thing is for us to actually create a t-rig I have a tutorial for this knot if you don't know so we can actually well I'll also link it in the uh, cards above okay so we do that pass that in there you have that then take some more leader material we create a length here okay this is 20 pound fluorocarbon okay just cut that off and then our um q-tip there we go okay and then we leave that alone for now take our jig and then tie a uni knot and that up by the way guys if you have not subscribed yet please consider subscribing to this channel we cover everything from ultralight big game everything in the middle including fly fishing helps me out a lot and we do a lot of these tips and tricks videos so that you learn and catch more fish all right so now let's zoom out a bit just so you can see what's happening here so we have the jig and it's kind of a long drop okay this is about uh let's measure it we are looking at about a 24 inch drop okay so that would be about 60 centimeters okay and on top you have your t-ring so just to review okay just to review you have your jig on a snap okay so the hooks are perfectly uh positioned there you don't I don't use a uh, split ring on this. If you already have your jigs with a split ring, that's fine. But um, a split ring is another thing to worry about. So I just skip that, put a snap, and that's that. Okay, so you have whatever lure actually that you put here, but it's good to have some weight on this so you could cast it out far. And then 60 centimeters or about uh, 24 inches of line and then you have your t-rig and you have that that knot right there actually snags the q-tip shaft so that it doesn't move okay and what that does is put separation and hang the uh, and hang the hook that you're gonna put on here away from the line so it doesn't tangle okay now what you put in here you have two choices okay you either put a super super sharp hook such as this owner fly liner and you put a soft plastic okay 
But what I do is actually put a fly. And this fly, I'm gonna put on a bit short, actually. I'm gonna put about there, right there, okay? So, if you want, you could put a long leader here. Don't put a snap, you don't want a snap here, okay? A long leader is good because it'll do two things. When you're retrieving this, okay, let's, let's tie a knot so that you guys actually see, all right? Okay, so with this, and what happens when you retrieve it, is that it looks like your jig is chasing after the fly, okay? Um, the, the plug, if you put this on, okay? Also looks like that. It, it looks like it's chasing after the fly. Uh, best of both worlds is a spoon, okay? Something like a cast master you could put on for this and then you'll have your, your teaser right in front of it. And all you have to do is just really crank it in. And it swims, okay? It looks as if it's chasing this. Most of the time, you actually catch two fish, okay? Because the jig will attract some predators. And then when you catch something on this, it'll attack, uh, or some others would attack the fly. I, I don't really use this often because of the queen fish, and queen fish love this sort of thing. But it's a very, very effective way to actually catch just something to get the skunk off. And then after that, once you know if there's queen fish there, you can switch to other techniques. But hey, you could stay with this one as well. But the most important thing is this whole thing is made possible by that T-rig with the Q-tip spreader. Without it, it'll actually tangle. And this is one of the most important things that you should actually uh, think about when you're doing this now uh, it's effective it's not gonna catch you the biggest fish but it will catch you that one fish or a few when the fishing is tough sometimes you'll get fish on the jig sometimes you'll get a lot more fish on the fly either way it's a very good system to have in your arsenal when fishing is very, very difficult because more than likely, the fish would actually strike the fly more than the jig. The jig you can think about as a delivery system that actually stings. So if there's something big that, that comes around, you'll have the jig to eat it, but smaller fish would actually go after the fly more. Sometimes you catch the odd big one on the fly as well especially when they're keyed into really small bait fish. So this enables you to present two things at the same time, gives you really good distance, and two proven lures that catch fish. Now, remember, this is a Clouser minnow. A Clouser minnow is practically one of the best flies there is. You could also use a fly that doesn't have uh, a weight, but what I found is that the, with the Clouser minnow, it also dips and dives when you're working it, so it has a bit more action. And this is the whole reason why the fish just go bonkers with this sort of thing. All right, so yeah, guys, this is it for now. Again, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.